it's right here. We're about halfway through the MPEP, which is awesome. So we're going to go through MPEP 1500, which is the design chapter. Um, so as far as design basics, it can only have one claim, and that one claim must refer to the drawing with a specific language. It will always say, it was almost always say, the ornamental design for blank. So whatever the title of invention is describing it as, as shown. So pretty easy to identify that. And then a claim is required for a filing date as opposed to post AIA utility or plant applications. Um, now the patent must satisfy the requirements of the 112, 102, 103, and it can be restricted if multiple embodiments are described. So it might be kind of strange to imagine how multiple embodiments are described with only one claim. But if the different drawings, like let's say there's a drawing of a doorknob and then a drawing of a bicycle, Obviously, those are going to be different, patentably distinct inventions, and so those can be restricted. The design must be ornamental, so no aspect can be hidden in use. For more special rules of design, um, there's a preamble that's included with the inventor's name and the title of invention. Um, you cannot claim priority to a provisional application. A priority can be claimed to a foreign, but it must be filed within six months of a foreign application. So versus with a utility or plant, remember it's 12 months, but this with design, it's six months. And then also for prior art under 102D, it's also six months. So two good ones to remember this. It's only six months for design. It will not be published. There are no maintenance fees. And the CPA is only available for design prosecution to be continued. The re request for continued examination is not available for design patents. The patent term is 15 years from the issuance post May 2015. Before that, it was only 14 years. And there is no PCT. Um, the international design patents are filed under the Hague Convention. For drawings and photographs, drawings are going to be defined by solid lines, and the environment is shown by dotted or dashed lines. And the drawings as filed need to be as complete as possible when filing them. If there's any shading mist or anything like that, that can possibly be rejected due to novelty um, in one part of it. Color photographs, they're not normally permitted in the design, but they can be admitted if necessary to understand the invention. So pretty similar to utility. Um, in this case, only one set is needed if it's filed with the EFS, um, but three sets if not. And then you, of course, need a language added to the specification saying that there are color photographs available. So for the expedited examination option for design, so if you remember, design applications can be filed under accelerated examination, but they can also be filed under expedited examination. So that this is a special procedure which requires a big fee. Um, a pre-examination search, an IDS, which results from search, and formal drawings. So now for um, kind of some statutory aspects of it, um, the case law defines three kinds of design. Um, you can have a design for ornament, impression, print, or picture, a design for a shape or configuration, or a combination of the first two categories. Um, Computer-generated icons, oh, sorry about the spelling, must comply with the article requirements, but they are patentable. Now, double patenting, we kind of mentioned restriction, but then double patenting, um, that can happen between two design applications, uh, between a design or utility application or patent. They operate the same as a utility in that a statutory is not curable versus non-statutory you can overcome with a terminal disclaimer. Um, then restriction practice in design, just going to that a little bit further, um, it's not based on the burden to examine. So in utility and plant, one aspect of the restriction practice is if the applicant has so many claims, really just so many inventions that the um, examiner will be unduly burdened in their search. And so in this case, restriction practice is not based on that. Um, so the requirements that embodiments must meet to overcome restriction would be if the overall appearances has have basically the same design characteristics, or if the differences between the embodiments are insufficient to distinguish the designs from each other. So remembering the rule for double patent or for restriction before, um, if the claims 
in the aspects are patentable over each other. So um, if one of them could be patented without being used as prior art of the other, then in that case, restriction is necessary. However, if they, you know, conflict enough, then restriction is not necessary. Um, it needs evidence in, in order to uh, prove that the embodiments are insufficient to distinguish the designs from each other. So I'm actually going to go ahead and combine this section um, with just wow, we're at it. I'm combining it with the plant. Plant chapter. So there's just a couple slides here. Um, so for plant, um, they cannot be tuber propagated. So the main ones to remember is if potatoes or Jerusalem artichokes are used in the example, and that, then a patent cannot be obtained from it. It must be asexually reproduced. It must be invented or discovered in a cultivated state. And so basically you have to produce it to practice before filing a patent. And this is the only type of patent which works this way. Um, if you read the MPEP, you'll see that the reason for this was when they were originally laying out statutory requirements, um, there was kind of a question of what to do about plants, because technically if you are patenting a plant, you basically are patenting something in nature, and that would go against um, 101, and that would go against um, the statutory requirements and basically be an abstract idea and um, a judicial ex exception, which we'll talk about in MPEP 2100. And so in order to kind of avoid that issue of being a judicial exception, they added these rules about being asexually reproduced and must be invented or discovered in a cultivated state. Um, and then two copies of the drawings must be submitted in addition to one copy of black and white. And this is the only type of application where drawings are required. And if it's not submitted at the filing, a filing date will still be issued, but examination will not move forward until the drawings are submitted. So kind of an important distinction there in that if the drawings add any new information, then the filing date would need to be adjusted in that case. Um, the specimens, they may need to be submitted in addition to views, um, but both of those just depend on what the examiner says. And then a copy of a specification is required to be filed. Um, so now as far as the claim in here, uh, it's a single claim included in the invention, and it must clearly identify the new and distinct variety of the plant as described and illustrated. That is formal claim language, and it is um, unequivocally required within the claim. And then only one claim is allowed. And that is actually it for um, MPEP 1500, 1600. So both pretty quick. There's a little bit more to the chapters, but really that is the majority of it. So hope that goes well.